Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Well, last time, I think we've put together a team. Alright, no more losers who are about to die in cutscenes, no more mages who didn't even have a cocking name. No, I think we've got a proper team constructed here. In particular, say hello to Morrigan and... Uh, Okay, I think one of my main objectives today is going to be uh, figuring out how she works because uh, mages in this game are complicated. Like, she's only just joined the team and she comes with nine cocking abilities. Sorry, scratch that, because one of the abilities is turning into a spider where she immediately gains uh, another two abilities. So, okay, that's what? 10? 11? In total? Okay, fine. We're just going to have to figure this out as we go. I can't deny though, I've kind of come round to my team. I've been a bit mean to Alistair, but he's growing on me. I like the fact that he's a big dumb himbo who's just really effective at just standing there and taking punishment. Okay, we need to have a word with him, make sure we deprogram him a bit, because he's still got a bit of that nasty Templar stuff going on in there that makes him suspicious of magic users, which I'm not keen on, but we'll work on him, alright? He's growing on me. Step one, figure out how to use Morrigan most effectively, though, to be honest, yeah. Given the last guy could give us fire weapons and the damage bonus was really good, I feel like let's put us straight away into frost weapons, including my entire dog becoming an ice dog. So, figuring her out, that's gonna be job number one. Job number two today, figure out what I'm actually going to do next, because I've got kind of four main things I could turn my attention to. Number one, my brother Fergus is still unaccounted for, because he wasn't actually in that major scrap. He was like, you know, scouting nearby. He's not necessarily dead. We need to locate him. Number two, sort of related, how? We need to hunt him down and murder him with this, my family swords. Number three, we need to build a new army in order that the Grey Wardens can go up against the Blight. And number four, we need to figure out who the Cock King, King is, because the old king's dead, but like... Loghain can't be king. He wasn't in the line of succession. His daughter was married to the king, but when the king dies, the queen doesn't just get to take over. Either they've got a child, or it has to revert somewhere else. And we know for a fact that, uh, yes, the Earl of Redcliffe, Aemon, he was the previous king's brother. So the current king, or rather just dead king's uncle, He's got a pretty good shot at the throne, so he might well be the new king. I just don't understand what Logan wants to get out of this, because uh, there's no real scenario where he gets to be king now. There's a line of succession that needs to be followed. Well, all that's to come. For now, uh, let's make it up the road to, uh, what was it, Lothering. The place that, uh, yes, Morrigan wants us to go. We'll start there, do a few submissions, uh, just to, you know, get the lay of the land uh, with my new team. Especially as, apparently, we're about to see the world map for the first time. Okay, now this'll cocking do. All sorts of bits and pieces, though. Okay, we can't go to most of these locations yet. We've kind of got to go to that village she recommended first. Oh, no, never mind, sorry. We're cutting over to Denerim. Aha, so, Logan, what are you planning? And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... 
Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I'd guess the pretty one is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the Darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. I mean, or I could just kill you all, and then not only do I keep the ten silvers, but I can sell all your weapons and armor for even more cocking money. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. They're very polite muggers, but they're still trying to mug me. And uh, the queen, she doesn't sound 100% on board with the situation. She might be an ally, yes, and also this is a weird-ass form of feudalism. So, okay, the king dies, and then... The queen just sort of gets to keep ruling, but with her dad, who's not part of the royal family, as regent, which is... I mean, that's just a coup. Like, there are other people in the royal family who are presumably part of the succession. Like, Marek's brother would be the next king, presumably. There might be other brothers around, I don't know. Okay, we need to dig into this, because this feels... Uh, Weird. So there must be a way to legitimately create a new king who's not bloody Marek. And uh, to be honest, there are two... Ah! He's a tan. Okay, that might be a reasonable point. The Codex said tans were like second in line only to the king in terms of rank. If the succession's tossed into crisis, a tan might reasonably be able to say, well, I'm going to be regent till we sort all this out. But uh, guess who's also potentially a tan? It's me, as soon as I hunt down and assassinate Fergus, of course. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All I hail the incoming King John. Love it. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You, buddy, you need to not only surrender, but hand over everything you've got on you, or you're going to cocking die. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Okay, I am 100% okay with that, but, 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 okay. If it'll get us past without too much trouble, then again, I'm going to be honest, I did kind of want to test out Morrigan's abilities. Well, you can try, you stupid bastards. Okay, okay, okay. So, what are we going to do? Morrigan, get to the back, please. Get to the cocking back. So, the dog's just going in, no trouble. In fact, you know what? The dog needs to go straight in right now and do his massive dread howl. So he'll be able to stun at least some of them straight away. No trouble. Alistair, you're supposed to be going into threaten mode. And then as soon as you've done that, go for the bandit leader. And okay, attack him first, then go into threaten. Hopefully you'll start attacking him momentarily. Morrigan is, yeah, still doing her ability. That's all absolutely fine. Do I have anything that's a big area of effect thing? Because the last lad had like a, a flame jibble. Yes, lightning, this'll do. And John, you just get some dirt in the bandit leader's eye. So we'll take care of that nonsense. Then as soon as we're done, we'll go into a big sweep. So everybody do your thing. And as soon as that's done, massive dual weapon sweep, please. And then, oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, lads, looks to me like you all just got stunned by my dog. We're going to tear you the flip apart, buddy. Okay, so she's doing her own thing for the time being. And, uh, I mean, go on, we'll turn into a giant spider. Why not? Okay, so as a spider, you can also use a web to immobilize, which is pretty useful if you want to just keep someone out of the fight. Or poison spit. So, okay, nature damage, damage over time. How about you do that to the bandit leader? Yes, do a poison spit to him, please. As for you, John, focus on just finishing off this bandit over here. So that person's in a bit of trouble. You're going to be stabbed in no time at all. Ah, I've lost ice weapon because she's in spirit form. But that guy's almost dead. Now I can turn to the bandit leader. Alistair's taking fair whack of damage, but honestly, that's his job. His job is just to take this. He can do it. 
So, used activator, yeah, great big shield pummel, no trouble whatsoever. Dogs don't got any abilities. You could web someone, but there's not really much point, to be honest. Who else has left? There's, ah, you're almost dead. Dog, you finish off that one. We'll just focus on the leader. And may as well just kick him in the balls. There's a kick in the balls. And in a moment, he will be very dead. Right. Job done. We surrender. We're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Oh, oh, now you're begging for mercy. Well, 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 this is absolutely pathetic. All right, you're shaking down the wrong people. You're attacking folks who are stronger than you. This is a shoddy operation, you stupid idiots. Um, right. I guess so. I'm sorry. Well, sorry doesn't cock and cut it. Okay, hand over everything you've stolen and maybe you get to cocking Lev. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Okay, so now I've got some money. So I could recruit this guy, but why would I recruit trash? All right, I don't need trash in my team. I want proper warriors and you're cocking hopeless. So I could let him go. He could die. Or I could turn him into uh, the police. Okay, but like, who are the authorities right now? I don't trust the authorities. Because we don't know who they are. We haven't met them. And they were just allowing this to happen on the bridge. Nah, screw it. He dies. No trouble whatsoever. I'm not going down without a fight. That's fine. I've got a giant cocking spider. Right, so that's everybody dead. Let's loot some corpses. Including a dead Templar. So a knight's locket. There's a pretty brown-haired young woman in here. Okay, so potentially another thing that needs to be returned to next of kin. Together with... Uh, yes, I picked up a lockbox out in the um, Kakari Wild. But that needs to go to Redcliffe, not uh, Lothering. Ah, but this wasn't just a, hey, please get the thing back to my girlfriend note. This was a, I need to find the Urn of Sacred Ashes note. Okay. So Sir Donal awaits my report in Lothering. But I know where brother... Genitivi lies. So his home in Denerim, I have found the trail. Okay, we've got another treasure hunt. So, find Sir Donald locally, or find a woman who matches the description. But to be honest, woman with browner hair is a little bit on the vague side. Oh, and now this is the stuff. All right, he gave me a hundred silvers. And on top of that, I've just looted the corpses. We're up to two gold pieces. Okay, so now we can do some proper shopping. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. You know what? I like these two. There doesn't seem to be any real malice between them. They just sort of like, you know, needling each other. Like brother and sister. I'm cool with them. It's absolutely fine. So, okay. I'll admit, you've been a bit quiet, Alistair. You sure you're okay to continue? Yes, I know. I was just thinking. No wonder it took so long, then. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. I'm just so happy that Morrigan agrees with me that Alistair's a slightly big dumb meathead. But despite that, he is rather useful. I feel myself, you know, growing to like him a bit. So, okay, 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 okay. And yes, here we go, precisely as I was saying, there's a whole bunch of stuff I could do. Though, I feel like, you know, I've done some work for the Grey Wardens. Maybe it's time for me to take a bit of time out to do my stuff. So, Fergus, how on earth are we going to find him? He was out scouting in the wilds, wasn't he? That's what the king said. Then attempting to look for him there would be foolish. He is either dead or he managed to flee to the north. Very sensitive. I am simply saying that it is foolish to mount a rescue when you have no notion where this man is and the wilds are overrun with Darkspawn. You will either find him somewhere outside the wilds with other survivors, or not at all. I mean, she's completely 100% right. It was lacking intact, but she is right. We need to figure out where the refugees have gone and go there. 
and it sounds like the capital, what was it, uh, Denerim? That sounds like, yes, where they were building a new force to deal with the Blight. Now, if he doesn't necessarily know about the betrayal, then that's logically where he'd go to rejoin up with the army, because that's what he was doing. Unless, of course, he learns about how, and goes back to Hyeva to sort out that nonsense. So, uh, to be honest, yeah, we don't really have much of a lead. She's completely right. It would be foolish to even try and do that immediately. But I'm going to give Alistair a chance here. Okay, Alistair, do you have any idea how we might track this man down? This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? Okay, never mind. He just wants me to move on to something else. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I haven't because I didn't know I was supposed to. Or do you just mean, did I look in my journal to know which groups I was supposed to be going towards? Because that I did do. Though, I'll say not yet because, to be honest, haven't really read the complete text, no. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arl Eamon is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. I mean, checking in on the political situation with him does seem like a good idea, I would agree, yes. Though, point number two, Grey Wardens. Alright, I know they've just been wiped out, but we know there are Grey Wardens elsewhere. Could we get reinforcements from, say, the Wardens of Orlay? Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. Okay, that's maybe for later. So, looks to me like this is, uh, well, kind of a village, kind of a refugee camp, because uh, there are a lot of tents here, more than you'd normally expect on the outskirts of a village. So, uh, I'm guessing, uh, yeah, people fleeing at the Darkspawn. So, okay, let's see what we've got in particular. Keep your eyes open for named characters. So, uh, Yep, cooking useless. Refugee boy, refugee girl, farmer. No, not important. We need to find the people who've got names, damn it. I thought that was a person over there, but no, that was a chicken. Not a person called chicken, an actual chicken. I wonder if that creature they locked up on the highway is involved with this. Is it a dark sport? Ooh, never mind. The refugees might be a bit useful. So, uh, something's been locked up on the highway. Okay, well, no one seems to mind me looting the refugee camp, so I guess that's what we'll be doing as a starting point. Love it. Well, step number one looks like, yes, the highway's partially collapsed, but go over this direction, get back up on the highway, there might be a monster as needs slaying. Now that, that we can do, brave band of wandering adventurers, though I suspect. Oh, that's a person that wants to have a chat with me the moment I arrive in town. Are you by any chance related to Sir Donald? Because we need to have a chat with uh, him about the whole, uh, yes, sacred ash urn uh, something something woman with dark hair. Right, let's have a chat with him anyway. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Okay, bit of an unfriendly welcome. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Sorry, not Lothering, Lothering, apparently. So... Okay, were you aware of bandits shaking people down literally outside the town, by the way? Thieves prey on the unfortunate whenever they get the chance. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Okay, so this town isn't necessarily safe. Things might be getting a bit, uh... Desperate as supplies run shy. Gotcha. The ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Right, even worse, power vacuum. The local leaders naffed off the uh, ban, so now uh, there's multiple people who feel like they ought to be in charge. And there's a person with an exclamation mark over there. Well, that's a mission if ever I've seen one. I can't believe the canary in that cage isn't dead yet. It's been three weeks. Why didn't they just execute him? Okay, there's also apparently someone in a cage. Does anyone know what a canary is? Because that's the first time anyone said that word to me. Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask, might you be able to spare some bread? Okay, so we have got some elf refugees, and apparently they're getting a bit on the desperate side, so... Okay, because I'm pretty sure my good friend the tab button said that they'd been robbed. So, okay, 
I'm guessing we're going to be dealing with some form of, uh, yes, interspecies racism tension problems. We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? Okay, and don't really care about most of this, but the pet lamb will be returned and I will murder anyone in my cocking way. Oh, and that's true. Are you talking about the same people who I sorted out? Because if so, I have killed them, but I did not find a small way. Hang on. Pet lamb. Oh, probably a living lamb. Sorry, I thought you meant like a toy, but like you probably meant a real one. So they have probably eaten him, but I've killed them right back. You killed them? That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. And right next to them, we have got ourselves a battlefield spirit maintaining a chill even in direct sunlight. Okay, hang on, it's... Autumn was serving by the... Oh! You mean like alcohol, not ghost. Sorry, fancy game. Sometimes you've got to double check, so... Okay, really fancy booze, so I could give that to somebody if I knew who was the right person to give it to. Together with some rather useful ingredients, yes. Have you seen my mother? Oh, bloody hell, more little rapscallions who need some help. So, okay, I've not. Who are you, small child? She's really tall, and she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some mean men with swords came. And mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. Oh my goodness, you have such an adorable voice and I'm so looking forward to telling you that she's dead. So, come with me, I'll help you look for her. Do you know where your father is? Yes, any chance there's um, a different pair? Because I'm not feeling good about the first one you were describing there. He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. Okay, so... I mean, we will at least try to locate your mother. So, tall... He's not an elf by the looks of the ears, so human, tall and red-headed. I mean, it's not much of a description, but I guess it'll do. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Okay, well, I tried to cocking help, but if you're going to be a dick about this, then I'm not going to. So, take some silver. How much silver? Go to the Chantry. I mean, I'm not 100% convinced I trust the Chantry, but if they are taking care of people, it's probably your best bet. I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. You're a really nice lady kind of like mother. I should go look for her. Okay, well, I've kind of sorted that out, I guess. Okay, anyway, where was that, um, canary? Canary? Quarian? Someone's put a quarian in a cage, so I should go and find them. And better and better, we've got ourselves somebody named Chanter Devons. So, okay, this must be the local chantry. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Okay, so he's just um talking about Eileen. First I've heard of an Eileen. I knew there was a woman called like, uh, what was it? Andraste or something who was like a prophet of their religion. Eileen, this is the first time anyone's mentioned that, so... Okay, um, who are you and what's going on? <laughs> oh, does he not speak aside from doing chanting of holy stuff? Is that what's going on here? Does he not actually do any talking that's not holy? Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's chanted Devons. Oh, are you a translator or something? So, yes, is he just a person who doesn't communicate aside from Holy Scripture? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the Maker. Okay, so yes, he can only communicate using stuff that's Scripture. 
Okay, got it. Like a vow of silence. Kind of, I guess. Right, check the board in that case. This is where local missions hang out. Okay, just one note on the board right now. Bandits to the north. So go and clear them out at some point or another. That might open up some new locations on the world map. Right, that done into what is presumably the Chantry. So this is the first time I've ever been inside one. There was, uh, yeah, a little chapel, uh, high ever, but this is a full-on church. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. You, buddy, you had a name. You're like Sir Marin or something, so I'm not a refugee. I'm trying to help, actually. So many are coming to Lothering. I make no assumptions. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Okay, I'll admit, I'm still trying to figure out the exact relationship between the Chantry and the Templar. Because the Templar seem to exist to, yeah, basically keep an eye on, i.e. enslave, mages and use them for various purposes. And the Templar are definitely followers of the Chantry. But do the Templar follow the Chantry's... Orders? Are they like the military arm of the church? Is that what's going on here, or do they have more independence than that? The revered mother runs the chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templar stationed here. Okay, useful to know, but not sure whether those two are getting on or not. Also, I just picked up two missions the moment I entered this area, so I assume this is yes. As it's in the premium content tab, I'm guessing this is old DLC that is just becoming available as I reach a certain... Uh, level or area or something so okay don't worry about any of that for the time being do however think about yes my dog my puppy needs to level up this is marvelous and uh, screw it just more strength to be honest just make him stronger and stronger i'm gonna be honest yes my dog might need to be replaced at some point as much as we love tabby maybe tabby would be happier being like you know the team mascot because tabby appears to have a uh, no skills, and very few talents, and not even hit that hard. Including zero armor penetration, so against tougher foes, Tabby does, like, nothing. And it's not even that the DPS is that high. My DPS is higher than that, so, yeah. I mean, DPS is comparable with Alistair, but that's with me having just put nothing but strength into Tabby, so... Yeah, Tabby might need to be retired at some point. We need someone with more than two abilities. Oh, but there's someone we're looking for. Okay, so, the Templar up on the bridge. Let's start with uh, him, actually, though. No, screw it. I am going to be the dog. The dog is going to run up to Sir Donnell to have a chat with him. And Oh, hang on. There's stuff going on first. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Okay, there's Sir Bryant, who is, yes, seemingly not getting ready to abandon the town. Though, hang on, someone earlier was saying the Chantry were planning to abandon the area. So, okay, there might be a split between the Chantry and the Templar here. We'll get back to that in a second. First up, yes, Sacred Ash Gobbler something. Right, pups, go and have a chat to Donald. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Very nearly, Sir Donald. May I introduce my fellow Grey Warden? We are the last two in Ferelden, as far as I know. Terrible news indeed. Pleased to meet you, my lady. Might I know your name? Okay, we've run into an old friend of Alistair's and... Uh... I'm John. Lovely to meet you. Let's not go making enemies until I decide who I like in this town versus who I don't. I trust you are staying discreet with the bounty placed on your heads. The bounty? Cairn Loghain has declared the Grey Wardens responsible for the loss at Ostagar. He claims he withdrew his men to save them. I don't believe a word of it, but with the Cairn offering hard coin for your deaths, you'd be smart to keep your identities secret. If Arl Eamon were well, He'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? What, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. 
Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. On Drusday's ashes are said to cure any illness, but I fear we are chasing a fable with each day my hope dims. Okay, it's all starting to come together here, so I'm guessing it was Loghain that did that. All right, Marek's brother and the king's uncle dying mysteriously of an illness right about now and being incapable in the meantime. Yeah, that works out really nicely for Loghain, doesn't it? And we know he's a bastard who's willing to do a whole bunch of bad stuff to get his way. So, okay, we need to do this mission to get him up and about. And that could be pretty important because he has got by far the most legitimate claim of anybody we've come across. If anyone could say to Loghain... Actually, you shouldn't be regent because I should just be the new king. It's Aemon. So we need him back up on his feet, damn it. And yes, indeed. So, Sir Henrik, that was the guy whose corpse we found. But I've got the locket and I've got potentially some new information. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Yes, also, the bandits that killed him are nice and dead. Feeling good about that now. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. It's not mad. It's a good idea. All right, magic's literally a thing that exists. Let's go find the cocky goblet of whatever. Though, yes, tell me more. I'm guessing you know more about where it might be than me. Though the note was saying something about the capital up north. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. I'm gonna be honest, I am a terrible member of the Chantry, or whatever a person who follows the Chantry is supposed to be called. I'm just a straight-up heathen. Sorry about that. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. Okay, so that scholar was in Denerim, and apparently there might be some books to top up the codex around here. Okay, I found every book inside the church. Nothing that would really give me a current clue, just that, yes, Andraste was betrayed, burnt to death, and then someone who was there at the time who'd been stabbed repeatedly touched the ashes and was immediately healed and presumably therefore put them in an urn. So, okay. The only vague lead I've got is the lands of the Alamari. I don't know who the Alamari are, but if I see a place called Alamaris or something of that nature, it might be a starting point. Still, it's a bit vague, so okay, let's speak to the locals in particular, the revered mother. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. Okay, that's a rather passive-aggressive way of saying I've been looting and robbing, which is true, but I'm gonna be honest, um... Yeah, I don't really want to give money to your church, because I can't help but notice you're wearing a solid gold dress. Okay, I'm just going to dodge what she just said and ask who she is, because this might be Miriam. I am the revered mother of this chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. I don't actually want your blessing. I just want to know about bloody Andraste, but... Okay, what's the bare minimum I could get away with? Might I suggest 30 silver? Okay, well, I could... could lie. 30 silver really isn't much. Okay, I'd rather keep her on side for now. You can have 30 silver, sure. Thank you, dear woman. What can I do for you, then? Okay, so now she's being chill. And, uh, yes, indeed. I'm a Grey Warden. Might need your help. Chantry being on side is not going to be a bad idea for building my army. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh, dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Right, yes, I was told two and a half minutes ago, don't tell anyone you're a Grey Warden because there's a massive bounty on your head. So, um, yes, that's true, but Loghain betrayed the king. Tern Loghain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. 
That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... I feel like I've just tossed 30 silver away for no reason whatsoever. And, uh, okay, can you help me in the slightest? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Completely cocking useless. Okay, well, maybe what's his face? Sir Bryant will be less cocking hopeless. Yes, my lady. Who might you be? Okay, so I'm John, and I'm definitely not a Grey Warden. Wink, wink. Ah, here we go. I was just digging through uh, generic information. Loghain is going to make himself king. So, okay, what about the succession? None that we know of. Tern Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Okay, I'm on the right track. Eamon's got the best claim, Loghain doesn't. We've got to save Eamon. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. For you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. Okay, I kind of love how Alistair and Morrigan just needle each other. And every single time it happens, Morrigan just has the upper hand over Alistair. And in the end, Alistair has to back down. Kind of love that. Not going to deny. So, okay. We got ourselves a far side of the bridge. A big old windmill. That's, that's a really nice windmill, by the way. I like it. And on top of that... Couple of people with exclamation marks over their head. Okay, we've got some friends as need helping out. And most importantly, there's Miriam. Okay, we found ourselves a village elder together with uh, Alison. You're new. No one's mentioned an Alison to me as yet. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Okay, really unfortunate coincidence. That's like the one thing my team can't do. Poisons? Fine. Potions? Great. Traps? No, no one actually bothered yet. Sorry about that. Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured I'd put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Okay, so... Yes, some guy's just putting poison traps in his lands. Maybe a bit on the dangerous side. Why not just buy some? I can give you money, given I don't have that skill. None to be had. Barlin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Okay, so this Barlin lad managed to have a word with him about the virtue of sharing. Right, in which case, bit of looting over here done. Elder Miriam, what have you got for me? You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> okay, I like her straight away. Alright, she's not got the power of the church behind her, she's not got a massive suit of Templar armour, she's just a woman who's trying to make sure everyone's taken care of. Whereas Templar, over by the Chantry, saying, nope, no more space, naff off, this woman, okay, I like her. Yes, I can help you, just point me in the right direction. Don't need blades right now, we need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Okay, Morrigan actually does. That we can actually do. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Okay, could I just give you um the ones I've already got? Yep, there we go. Three lesser health poultices. I've literally got them on me right now. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. I would have given you so much more. Wow! 50 silver. 
That is way more than this medicine is worth. You have been ripped off, my dear. Sorry, I didn't mean to, but I have just screwed you over. Okay, next up, we've got ourselves a, a Sten. And, aha! Sten, buddy. I'm guessing you are a... Quinari? Quarian? Whatever it is, okay? We found the person in a cage. You aren't one of my captors. I will not amuse you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. Okay, um... Could you not very easily escape? It feels like there are some really big gaps in your cage. You could just squeeze through, but... Okay, hello. Um, you seem to be in a cage. Would you like to not be in a cage? I've been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. Okay, um, I don't actually know what that is. If you haven't heard of us, that is your own shortcoming. Though it matters little now. I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for Mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes, that's what I would have expected. I suggest you leave me to my fate. No, 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 no. Why would I do said thing? And seriously, if... Okay, that bar's behind him, meaning there's this much space. Just, just climb out of the cage, you mad bastard. Though, okay, um, I wouldn't mind an extra companion. Sounds like you, buddy, might be a team member. And, yeah, if Morrigan's impressed by you, you must be impressive. So, okay, why precisely are you in the cage? I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Okay, are you actually guilty? Bit of a tactless question, but what can you do? The people of a farm hold. Eight humans, in addition to the children. Oh, okay. Um, child murder's a bit steeper than I was expecting. I was assuming because the Chantry did it, it was just going to be, Oh, I did a heresy and they've locked me away and isn't that unjust and now you can release me and da 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 Um, okay. Uh, the fact that you're a child murderer, that's... It's a bit heavy, Stan. Is there a reason you actually, um, did that, precisely? I agree. Okay. Uh, apparently we can't dig into precisely why he murdered children just this moment. So, okay. How long have you been in there? Twenty days now. I shouldn't last much longer. Another week at most. Right. So, um, you're not dead from, say, lack of water, which would strike me as likely compared to your kind, maybe. Ah, you're super long-lived or something. Gotcha. So, how are you captured if you're such a badass even Morrigan's impressed with you? There is no difficulty in capturing prey that surrenders. So, you walked into a farm, you killed eight people and a bunch of children, then you just gave yourself up. I waited for several days until the knights arrived. Okay, what the flip is going on with you, mate? Because I wished to. Okay, could you just give me a cooking straight answer? Either you have an enviable memory or a pitiable life to know nothing of regret. Okay, but I just want to know why you did it, screw it. You know what? I'll get you out, you can tell me later. Well, this page in the codex doesn't tell us anything, just that, uh, yeah, the Canari are apparently from so far away, they've just never been seen before in this part of the world, which raises the question, what brought him here in the first place? And seriously, just looking at this cage from every angle, he could climb out of this right now. There's, there's so much space. The gap here is huge. He could just, why aren't you escaping? Okay, here we go. Back to the mother. What precisely did he do? He butchered an entire farm hold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. The child said his father had found the canary gravely wounded and took him in. That kindness was repaid with murder. The bandsman found the canary just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them. Oh. By any chance was, um, yeah, that red-headed child I ran into on the bridge, uh, the only survivor. It's possible, yes, yeah, so, uh, okay. I'm guessing he's going to have been justified in some way, like they attacked first for some reason, but... Okay, are you absolutely certain that he did it? 
He confessed quite readily, but would give no reason for the crime. Even the Caesar knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That canary is a danger. Okay, so... Yes, what are we going to do about... Why do I want to release him? Okay, well, for some reason I'm really, really keen on getting the child murderer out. Which feels weird, but he's got to have a reason, right? If he doesn't, we'll put him down ourselves later. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Okay, so she's not keen on that. But I am a Jedi, so Jedi mind trick... I'm going to take him back to his people. Well, that is convenient. I had no idea the Kanari even knew he was here. Here then. Take the key to the Kanari's cage and take him away. I pray this is the right path for all our sakes. So do I, because I have no idea why we're doing this. Why do you always go on about how stupid I am? I'm not stupid, am I? If you need to ask the question, because it hurts my manly feelings, you know. Or one of them. Then I'll be sure to write you an apology once all of this is over. I was educated by the Chantry. I studied history. They don't make stupid Templars. Then I must have been mistaken. I'm very impressed. No, you're not. You're not even listening to me. My. You are smarter than you look after all. Your Chantry must have been very proud. Okay, my sympathy's starting to sway a tiny bit in Alistair's direction now. Alright, he has had some form of education. Clearly, he's more about the smash things in the face than the actual book learning, but I think he's a tiny bit smarter than Morrigan gives him credit. Only by about, like, 10%, but still... Alistair, you poor dumb meathead. It's okay. At some point, I'll intervene and stop her from bullying you. So, I've got a key. How do you feel about being let out? I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Oh, I spun her one a hell of a lie. Right, now I choose who is uh, and isn't coming along. And, ooh, he's already level 7, Lardy Flippin' Da. Okay, I feel like we need to... Uh, Remove the... Oh, it's okay. He's not sad about it. He's yes. fine. So, he now steps up. The dog's gonna have just, you know, a bit of a break for the time being. We might have the dog with us later. But let's just learn how Sten's getting on first. Okay, he is a warrior with no specialization whatsoever. Overwhelmingly two-handed rather than weapon and shield, which is good. That means he has his own unique role, distinct from Alistair. Alistair's a massive tank, but you, you're going to be my main damage dealer because Jory was two-handed weapons and he was an absolute cocking beast. So he can draw aggro effectively. He starts off with threaten and taunt, though I'm not sure why I'd want him to be drawing the aggro instead of... Alistair. That's kind of Alistair's job, so that feels a bit redundant. In fact, he's just swimming in alternative mode, so he can also go into powerful swing, so more damage, but reduced attack and defense. So whether that's ever going to be worth it, because the bonus damage is, uh, yeah, not worth the amount of misses you're subsequently gaining. Need to keep an eye on that. Or indomitable. So more attack damage and also immune to stun or knockdown. So that one sounds pretty good. Might just keep that one on pretty much permanently. And three main abilities. So Pommel Strike, we saw this one on Jory. So that's just a knockdown. Sunder Arms. So, okay, doesn't actually do as much damage, but can knacker attack. So yes, they're less likely to hit going forwards. And a massive mighty blow. Honestly, just use that one every time it's off cooldown. So yes, critical damage and also Naka's movement speed. That's pretty nice. No skills aside from, uh, yeah, master combat training. Uh, okay, buddy, let's get you set up. And I think I may have misunderstood what was being said. Those bandits on the edge of town, uh, they're not actually like, you know, uh, elsewhere. They're just literally right here, standing outside town. So, okay, Stan, let's figure out how much we like you. So, first things first, Alistair. You're going up front. And to make sure you've got all your abilities on, please. Threaten and shield defense. So he is going forward. Love it. And yes, indeed. What have we got? Whole bunch of people on precise striking. Alistair needs to be up front. That's his big thing. 
You, meanwhile, are... You're not really supposed to be using threats. I don't want the attention on you. Because, uh, yeah, you're not as tanky as Alistair. You just need to be getting around the side of them and just hitting them with a massive-ass sword. Yes, yeah, so let's just get you moving into a good position. I'd like you to just do a massive attack on this lad. Alistair can take all of this. Meanwhile, I'll just get around the back of them and... Oh! Bit staggered there, but I'm sure it's fine. Big double attack for you. Alistair, just get in over here. Keep them busy, please. Take out the lad who's already a bit on the weak side. Bash him in the face with the shields. And yeah, let's just see how Sten's doing here. So, uh, 30 damage. A bit of backup from the old lightning. That guy's going down. And honestly, Sten, get over here, mate. And just draw these guys out of using their bows. Alistair is... Uh, Doing his job competently for the time being. Just, yep, shield pummel. No trouble. I'm using my abilities effectively over here as well. I'm being shot in the back repeatedly. But yes, that's what uh, we're taking care of uh, right now. Okay, so, Sten, we got to be careful. He is a little bit vulnerable. He took a lot of damage during that fight. Alistair needs to be drawing the aggro. I need you, buddy, to not be threatening. Threaten's actually bad for you. Oh, also, I may have just come across... Guys, guys, there's giant spiders. And they've webbed me. Um, should, should we be doing something about them? Guys, we may have made a mistake. Okay, everybody just take out this one spider, please. I'm being attacked by so many spiders. Okay, they're not that tough. They're going down pretty easy. Alistair's got this. It's all fine. Okay, sorry, didn't realize you had a giant spider problem in the town. I'm surprised no one asked me to go and deal with that, but it, it's all turned out fine in the end. Aha! And this is where we get poison from. Okay, bandit camp number two goes down without trouble, but... Um, okay, this uh, third one uh, over here... They've got a bandit captain in there. So this one, okay. It's time to check whether I know what I'm cocky doing. Step one, Morrigan, we're a bit short on the old uh, healing items right now. How about you top us up a little bit? Lovely. John, we just picked up a giant pile of toxin extract from those spiders. How about we make our weapons a little bit more interesting? Here we go, some lovely, lovely venom. So now, my sword should be doing... Hang on, is that... Oh, it's timed. Okay, guys, we need to get in. Okay, so we've got a minute of venom. In we come, and... Don't get too far ahead, never mind. Okay, you really like activating that. There he is, there's the bandit leader. Two archers at the back, two bandits, Mabari up front. Alistair, you know what to do. Get in there and just start, uh, yeah... Pummeling them, drawing the aggro, get some attention. Shen, I want you taking out this here bandit. Alright, get over there, just knacker him, do what you can. Morrigan, stay at the back, freeze the dog, if at all possible. And uh, let's see what we can do to just take out, yeah, the little guys first. So get over here, toss a bit of dirt in the eye, no trouble. But they all kind of cluster right at the start of the fight. So in a second, uh, we might be able to... Uh, here we go. Right now, right now, right now. Double swing. And this is... Uh, look at that. Plenty of good damage. That guy's already almost dead. The bandit leader seems to be coming for uh, for me. That's, that's less good. Because one-on-one, I don't really want to be doing that. So, uh, Morrigan, I need you to be helping me out, please. What can you do to... Yeah, knacker him. Here we go. Horror. Prevent him from moving. Now, that's got to be a good thing right there. In fact, you know what? Screw it. Just can we freeze him? And horror. It did cocking nothing. Okay. Well, let's get over here. And I'm just going to help out with uh, the hounds. Because that bandit leader is determined to get to me. Morrigan, I need him. Just do something to him, please. Just something. Here we go. Disorientation. I just need him not at his best for the time being. So you just disorientate that guy. Everybody else, just get over here and start doing your own business. You're already doing just fine. You're just taking on that guy. Alistair's just doing this. These guys seem to still be pretty much full strength guys. What the flip are you guys doing? Okay, Alistair, just get over to this guy. John, finish off this hound as soon as you can, please. So just get over there and one and two and one, two, three. That was a lot of damage. Okay, that was way more damage than I was expecting. Okay, yeah, he's 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 a bit of a he's a bit of a pain. And there's still What happened to the other bandit? I swear there was another archer at the back, but okay, fine. Now Alistair and Shen are a little bit 
yeah, in trouble. And I never set... Can I set them now? Can I just set you guys a little bit of... Uh, can I just do this? Come on, just, just let me set the thing right now. There we go. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. You need a health potion. You need a health potion. Morrigan's about to die. Uh, okay, well, not if she's a spider. She's not. Activate spider mode. Okay, so... Now we don't have any of the rest of that anymore, but we can do some nice work to uh to this guy. We're just going to poison spit at him. Lovely poison spit, and she's still dying. Okay, we might need to to rethink this a little bit because these mercenaries are, are going down. Shenny's uh, alive. Uh, the dog is. We just haven't finished anyone off. That's the problem. These guys just refuse uh, to cocking go down. Um. Okay, Morrigan, run! Run, Morrigan! Just scuttle! Scuttle for your life! Okay, the dogs are finally down. Alistair is still alive. Everyone just keep knocking back the old potions. I'm sending the spider after the archer. There we go. Right here, buddy. Right here. So, we're just going to go for a little bit of a knacker. Okay, that's interrupted him. But now... Oh, hang on. Where's, where's everyone else? Shen? Okay, Shen, you can take out that guy, probably. Uh, Alistair is now desperately trying to... He's running away from his fight. Why are you running away from your fight? Leave the bandit leader till everyone else is dumb. And Morrigan, just just run, Morrigan. Just cocky run. And there's 30 damage, but she seems to be doing okay. I'm just going to lead the bandit leader around in a circle for a bit. How are you doing? Have you nearly cocking one? Shen is... Okay, Shen's finally won his fight. He needs to do... A little bit of healing. Then he can go deal with this bandit. Alistair's about to win his fight. Then it's going to be three on one. So, just just run, Morrigan. Cocky run. Cowardice will uh, it'll win us the day yet. So now you're getting over there. That guy's about to die. Alistair's about to take out this guy. He needs, uh, he needs healing too. So just let Shen take out this guy. Is everyone dead now? Okay, so... Yeah, I think basically I'm taking advantage of the fact that the AI desperately wants to take out whoever the player is playing as. And now, oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Now it's three on cocking. What are you ready for this jelly? So now, Morrigan, come back into, yes, the form you want to be in. So at this point, basically start just spamming magic at him. Because magic is, ah, magic bypasses shields, right? So Winter's Grasp. And go. That's a lot of damage. Straight into lightning, if you'd be so kind. And, oh, we got him. No thanks to cocky John, who's just having a nap over there. Bloody cocky now, but we did get him. And finally, vulnerability. Make him weak to the frost weapons. And in just a second, Shen didn't quite make it to the end. He came so close, but he didn't make it. How's John, by the way? John's, John's not getting up. Should we be concerned the shame of the Kuzlans isn't getting up? Oh, but I tell you what, this is all worth it. That's a superior greatsword and some proper armor. There we go. John's fine, probably. Slightly deafened, but I'm sure there's a healer in town somewhere. Okay, for the time being, only Sten is strong enough to wear this brand new armor. But we're going to want to move that over to, uh, yes, Alistair as soon as we up his strength a bit. Because uh, he's the one that wants all the defense. More on the board, though. So, okay, the kid uh, who we saw earlier, we need to find some evidence of his mother. I'll take that, sure. And on top of that, when bears attack. Nothing too complicated. Find bears, kill bears. Sure, I'm going to do both of them. Okay, so we've got Sten on board. He definitely hits bloody hard. Though I think we need to, yes, move that brand new armor over to Alistair as soon as possible. And I can't help but notice there's an entire cocking area I've not been into in this village yet. Dane's Refuge, which I assume is a tavern. So, okay, a little bit more to do here, but we've made a bloody good start, made a new friend, and made a hell of a lot of money, and in the end, that last bit, that's the most important bit, I would say. So, join me next time as we head into what may or may not be a pub, do some more local good business, and head on our way, because now I know what my next big thing is. I need to go and get the ashes of Andraste, that was her, in order to cure Eamon, that's the only way we're going to deal with Logcane. So join me next time and hopefully we can come up with a bit of a plan. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Dragon Age Origins. Thank you very much and goodbye. If we just hide the bodies, nobody needs to know about this. Yes, my stupid, stupid plan has worked. 
It turns out I'm a genius. The giant rat scorpion is not gone. Oh, hang on. There's, there's more yet, though. I'm still being very shocked. Guys, where's the NCR? Nobody needs to know.